I am Anil Kumar and here is a very interesting trigonometric equation which we are going to solve. The question is solve cos x minus cos 2x plus cos 3x equals to 0 where x is between 0 to 2 pi. Now one way is we could always write 3x and 2x in terms of x get one equation in terms of cos x and solve it but that is going to be extremely complicated. The other way is we can actually uh, use compound angle formulas. Uh, we could write 3x as sum of 2x and x and we can write x as difference of 2x and x. Now that will help us to factor this particular equation. Let us see how. So what we'll do is instead of cos x I will write cos of 3x I mean sorry 2x minus x and I'll keep this cos 2x separate and plus cos of 3x as 2x plus x and we have minus cos x equals to 0. Now this is a very important strategy to solve this equation effectively. So this is cos a minus b. We can expand this as cos 2x cos x plus sin 2x sin x right so that is the first term and the second term for us is cos 2x sin x minus oh sorry cos x minus cos I mean sin 2x sin x correct and we have cos of this was 2x okay so we have minus cos 2x equals to 0 right so what it, we did was instead of cos x we wrote this as cos 2x minus x minus cos 2x we wrote separately cos of 3x could be written as cos of 2x plus x then we have applied the compound angle formula to expand right so that is the compound angle formula now when you combine these two terms plus sin 2x sin x gets cancelled off so we get two times cos 2x cos x do you see that part 2 times cos 2x cos x and here we have minus cos 2x equals to 0 so now we can factor cos 2x so so we can write this as cos 2x can be factored we get 2 cos x minus 1 equals to 0 see we are able to factor the given trinomial I mean I should not say trinomial but trinomial trigonometric equation in using in these few steps and that's the beauty of this solution right so now we have solution for so two sets of solution we are looking for one is let me write down here when cos 2x equals to 0 or 2 cos x minus 1 equals to 0 that means cos x equals to half right so or we have cos 2x equals to 0 right now we are working in the domain of 0 to 2 pi so when we say cos 2x is equals to 0 in the domain of 0 to 2 pi then for x for 2x we have to multiply this so for 2x the domain becomes 0 to 4 pi we have to multiply this correct that is kind of very important to understand now cos function is 0 for pi by 2 and 3 pi by 2 so we have 2x equals to 0 for pi by 2 right 3 pi by 2 now we have to go one more circle that means add 2 pi to this that is 5 pi by 2 and 7 pi by 2 right and here cos x is equals to half you can use the special triangle now in the special triangle 1 and 2 square root 3 that is for pi by 3 right so so in this case you get x equals to pi by 3 and cos x is also half in quadrant 4 so we have to use quadrant 4 right positive in these two quadrants so that means pi by 3 here and and this right the acute angle is pi by 3 so we get I mean pi by 3 
okay and 5 pi by 3 you get the idea right so those are the solutions from the second factor now the first factor gave us two x solutions so now we will write down the solutions for x dividing them each by 2 so you get pi by 4 3 pi by 4 5 pi by 4 7 pi by 4 and from here we have pi by 3 and 5 pi by 3 so these are all the solutions for the given equation right I hope you appreciate the steps which we have taken and the strategy involved that should help you a lot to answer some complicated questions like we took thank you and all the best